Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk to you about pricing fundamentals of derivatives. And the first part of this is pricing a risky financial asset. So how do we price a, a risky financial asset? First, let me ask you, how would you enjoy taking risks for no reason? You wouldn't, right? I mean, I wouldn't. I know for that uh, for sure. Because the only reason I would take a risk is if I can expect a greater return. Greater the return than what? than the opportunity cost of taking that risk. Now, you guys are finance people. You understand opportunity cost. It's, it is the cost of doing something which would actually uh, give you a benefit. All right. So, for example, if you were to start a business and your other, and your, uh, other alternative is to work as a salaried employee, so your opportunity cost would be the salary which you would earn as an employee versus what you would make in, in a business. So, you should be targeting to set up a business knowing that you can earn a lot more than what you would do working as an employee. So in the same logic, we're going to try and understand how a risky financial asset gets priced. So now in the case of a risky financial asset, the opportunity cost of investing in it is to invest in a risk free one. So th can you think of a risk free asset? Let me give you one sec. All right, so it's it's fixed deposits or any sort of government bonds where uh, we consider them as risk free. It's it's it doesn't really take anything to uh, earn that much amount of uh, interest. So investors uh, are generally considered risk averse. That what this means is no investor wants to take un unnecessary risk. So we, we are always at a balance of uh, matching risk versus return. So to, to take a certain risk, there's a certain amount of expected return that every investor looks for uh, to make an investment. Hence, we need to factor in risk premium for risky assets. What does that mean? What is a risk premium now? A risk premium is a differential of the uh, additional risk factor minus what a risk free rate of interest would be. So let's say uh, a fixed deposit is giving you uh, an interest rate of 7% and you are expecting a return of 15% from a uh, risky asset. So now the, now the differential of 8% is the risk premium in this case. So the future value is to be determined by uh, the future value which we determine of the asset. So what is the future value? We expect the asset to grow uh, on to a certain amount. Okay. Now that amount is an amount in the future. And since you may or may not be familiar with time value of money, the essence is in today's terms, tomorrow's money is worth less. So we are going to discount that amount with, uh, an, with, with a hurdle rate. And this hurdle rate is going to be the risk-free rate added by the risk pre risk premium. Why? Because if the denominator is larger, we reduce the value of the numerator a lot more. So we are trying to say, we are trying to be conservative here. So we are trying to say that this asset is going to be worth a lot less today. So let's adjust it with the risk adjusted rate, which is the risk free rate plus the risk premium. Now, every financial asset has certain benefits and certain costs. Now the monetary benefits are what we're going to look at here. The monetary benefits from any financial assets are stocks. Uh, sorry, from stocks, dividends are uh, from stocks are dividends. From bonds are interests. So the 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 incomes which we earn are known as the monetary benefits. So now coming down to how this is now calculated, the present value or the price of the financial asset should be equal to the estimated future value discounted at a risk adjusted rate then that is added by the net present value of the benefits and costs of holding such assets. Simple, right? You have the future value, you discount it, and you bring it to today's terms. To that, you adjust any benefits and costs at net present value again. Net present value is what? We are again discounting the benefits and costs over the time period in future so that we get what is today's value. So let's look at this mathematically. So here's the formula. S0 equals EST divided by 1 plus RF plus RM to the power of T plus present value of benefits of holding the asset for time T minus present value of cost of holding the asset for time T. S0 is the current spot price estimated 
st est equals the expected value of the asset at time t at the uh, at the end of the expected holding period that is then rf equals risk free rate well that covers uh, what i wanted to talk to you about in this lecture and i'll see you in the next thanks for watching bye for now if you're watching this on youtube hit subscribe for more such videos and stay tuned for more bye for now